Well, uh, in this episode of Philo Greek Machining, uh, it will be the uh, to finalize the coupling between the electric motor and the rotary vane compressor. So there will be a round plate uh, which contains uh, two bolt circles and a hole in the middle. <laughs> And uh, then we have to drill uh, some extra holes uh, to one of the uh, one of the work, work, one of the parts of the rotary vane compressor in order to bolt it to this plate. Well, <coughs> luckily those holes are not too bad to drill. The bolt circle in that plate is a little uh, bit a different uh, thing. Well, the one that goes towards the motor, it's uh, very simple because it's uh, just four holes and uh, uh, everything is concentric, etc. Uh, nothing uh, very bad in there. But uh, the rotary vane compressor is a very different story. Uh, namely, uh, you, uh, this uh, bolt circle is not con concentric with the shaft. It's uh, three millimeters uh, shifted. So, uh, mm, uh, Maybe a rotary table, maybe. Uh, uh, well, uh, not just maybe. I think it's the uh, way to go here. Uh, not to drill the holes uh, all the way through, but uh, to mark the places uh, for these holes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, now, uh, well, and uh, lucky me, uh, those holes don't need to be, uh, uh, well, that accurate. It's enough that the holes are like, uh, uh, well, let's say uh, the accuracy of uh, 0 0.1 millimeters is more than uh, enough. So uh, that's uh, what we are aiming today. So <coughs> let's start with this. So, uh, well, uh, le let's start with, uh, well, uh, this is the motor and those are the standoffs and uh, that's Loctite and that's a plate. <laughs> well, oh, okay. Uh, uh, I will now uh, glue these here. Uh, uh, they are not going to come off uh, after this. A drop of glue in the thread. Rotate it there. Uh, do something like this. Yeah, and the body of this motor is uh, really aluminium, so you have to be extra careful to not to strip these threads. It's so easy to strip uh, aluminium threads. It's really easy. There you are. That's the standoffs. Ah. There, uh, there is some extra glue oozing. <laughs> Maybe I wipe it off. As you can see, the green color denotes glue. <laughs> oh yeah. There you are. So next uh, thing is to drill holes here. Uh, I don't know whether you can see those, but I already punched here like uh, four holes for these standoffs and furthermore a center hole. <coughs> the center hole is used in the milling machine first for location and uh, these I can now uh, drill now. They will be, uh, these are M8 and the uh, clearance hole for these uh, well, uh, they recommend uh, 8.5 millimeters, and that is exactly what I'm going to use here. And uh, now I'm going to actually freehand uh, these pilot holes here. Uh -huh. Well, it's quite all right. Let's see now. There you are. Uh, 
And now 8.5 millimeters. Oh, that was a little bit hot. 8. No, uh, first I think we will drill the center hole so we can use it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's have a center hole in there. Yep, yep. Well, let's go. Let's see. Well, this is uh, really soft. <laughs> this is super easy. Hopefully, I don't uh, hurt myself here. This is way too easy. Yeah, okay. Wow. <laughs> this is... This is good. Uh, we can use this in the milling machine. This. So now I will uh, debur all the holes and. Uh, <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> yep. 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 And yep, done. Now all we need uh, for this workpiece is the bolt circle for the uh, compressor. And it is not concentric, it is uh, three millimeters aside. So yeah, that's it. Well, I have now clamped, uh, attached uh, this uh, rotary table uh, to my milling uh, uh, machine table. <laughs> And now the next thing to do is to center it, so that the center of this rotary table is uh, in the center of this uh, milling machine spindle. Uh, well, yeah, so let's do that. Uh, I'm using this uh, particular, uh, this is, uh, well, edge finder, so to say. Let's do this again, just to make sure. Yep, there it is. And now uh, we need to. Now we need to. Uh, well, uh, the diameter of this, I think it was something like. Let's see. What is it? It's actually <laughs> 36 millimeters, yeah. Okay. So 36. Uh, now I need to uh, set the center here. So it will be. Uh, the diameter here is uh, 36 millimeters, and the diameter of that sensing thing here is 6 millimeters. So, uh, first of all, let's touch the back side. There. And uh, now uh, we need to go come back. Uh, it's already 3 millimeters plus. Uh, uh, wait a minute, uh, um, no, no. so uh, 36 uh, divided by 2, 18 minus 3, so it will be 15 millimeters, so that's 4, 8, 12, that's 12, 13, 14, and 15, okay, and now it's the same story. So 15 millimeters. Uh, so 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15. There. Yeah. So now I lock the table here. And uh, the next step is to have uh, this plate there. Okay, there you are. Now I think we are there with this one. So now, uh, what I will do, I will actually raise the table now here, like that, there we are, and then, okay, so now, huh, um, 
This needs to be three millimeters in some direction. <laughs> so three millimeters. One, two, three. So now if I pull it out and then I need to come back so then this part because okay now it's in the correct position so now what I will do I will just tighten this here. Now it's a three millimeter offset here. Uh, yeah, there you are. And now just pull the pin out from there. Yeah, there you are. And then we are using indirect indexing for all the eight holes here. And uh, uh, now we need to go back to the zero. Uh, this way, like there, okay, so now this really is longer, this side, yeah, okay, now it should be there, and now the only thing is that we need to determine uh, the radius of this bolt circle, and uh, it's uh, some equal amount of millimeters, uh, I can measure it here and it is, it's actually 30 millimeters. Yeah. So 10, 20 and 30 there. Yeah. There is your 30. Okay. Well, now it should be in place. X and Y. So. Next step, uh, have a drill here. <coughs> okay, uh, now that everything is set up here, and uh, yes, as you can see, this uh, plate is shifted uh, six mil, uh, no, three millimeters uh, on the side. So, well, now it's just uh, to drill uh, eight holes here or not holes, uh, they will be places for eight holes. And uh, well, it's a very simple operation in this case. Uh, well, uh, I'm using uh, the direct indexing of this uh, rotary table now. And uh, the first hole is uh, actually here, in this place. Let me see, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, where we go. Okay, there you are. Now I just uh, get it off from here and uh, go to the drill press and uh, uh, really drill those holes. This will be uh, 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 pass through holes for M8. Uh, so uh, M8, M6. And uh, yeah, and uh, of course the workpiece where this attaches to it will be have uh, eight new uh, threads in it, uh, M6 threads, and uh, then I just bolt this in. Uh, yeah, okay, that's it.
So, what I'm doing here is to make these uh, motor uh, attaching holes a little bit oval, so that there is uh, some wiggle room uh, on each and every way here. Uh, maybe only one millimeter uh, each side. Uh, that, uh, well, uh, that should make it uh, a little bit easier, because, uh, well, uh, this needs to be adjusted in place. So, and I doubt I have done uh, the center, uh, the uh, compressor mounting holes that accurate that it would uh, really uh, uh, be in the in the center. But uh, let's see now. Now this is just uh, making uh, these holes a little bit oval, and this is uh, really a very simple milling operation. So let's go. Okay, that's one side and then the other one. It doesn't need a lot. And that's it. That's ovalized. <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And then we go to the other hole. And this is somewhat a uh, fancy operation. Let's see if we have the room here. We should. There is the other. That's not the correct hole. <laughs> That's the correct hole. Now we are talking. And now I shall align it somehow and then we go let's see what happens nothing bad yet <laughs> There you are. And uh, <coughs> now I just turn the workpiece 90 degrees and uh, do the other two holes uh, in a very similar manner. Well, <laughs> uh, the compressor is now here. Uh, well, I did uh, take the separate parts and uh, then I uh, bolted and uh, sealed them all together. And I use this uh, Loctite 501 uh, uh, sealant for those. This uh, stuff is uh, anaerobic. It means that it doesn't uh, harden, it doesn't uh, cure uh, when it's uh, in the free air. Uh, it will harden only when, uh, when uh, it's uh, isolated from air. <laughs> and uh, the rest, uh, which is not uh, hardened, uh, will actually solve, dissolve into oil. Uh, which is very, really good. Okay, now, uh, uh, well, we need uh, need to have, and yes, if you wonder why my why I'm sounding like my nose uh, would be blocked, it is because my nose is blocked <laughs> badly, <laughs> badly, bad. So, uh, what we need to have here, this is the uh, piece that uh, will be attached uh, to this uh, 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 plate. And as you can see, if you look carefully, you can see that the holes are not concentric. And if you look at this, uh, maybe this side is better, you can see that the uh, center hole is uh, not, not concentric. So, uh, well, the nearest point, uh, uh, well, uh, I think if you look that which of these uh, places, actually it is so that uh, this... Uh, 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 the uh, 
concentric, not concentric, but symmetric uh, axle will be here. So if I look into this workpiece, how it should be oriented, I think that's the way. Uh, the, this goes just into there, like that. There it is. Okay, that's the place for that. And uh, what we, what I would like to do is to have uh, two screws to hold it in place. Well, nothing very complicated yet. <laughs> This is just to keep it in place. I'm not going to uh, bolt it down hard at this time, and I'm not going to seal it this time. I'm just, I want it to be in a place where I can uh, mark the holes for this one. Let's put it a little bit so it doesn't move on me. Okay, and now this. Uh, Shaft is uh, 14 millimeters, and so is this hole. Uh, it's actually drilled and reamed to 14 millimeters, and now I need to figure out this is probably the way it should go there. Well, let's see. I can quite easily see it when I put it like there. Okay, that's the place. Uh, <coughs> and now, what? Now it's uh, uh, exactly on top of the screws, but we need to put it a little bit on the side. Let's see, this is that much. Oh, that's uh, really badly away. Uh -huh. Oh, this is nearer. So, if this is it, uh, so it's there. That's uh, our place now. We should uh, have it somewhere there. So now we have a, so have a bunch of these holes are 6.5 millimeters, and, uh, which is, uh, uh, well, uh, it's a hole where M6 bolt uh, goes, a bolt like this will go quite, quite comfortably. It goes into there, like that. And now I mark uh, one place here, only one. And after that, uh, when this is done, uh, I will then uh, drill it, tap it, and uh, after that I will uh, will uh, do actually do the rest when it's uh, in one hole. I might do another one at. Uh, tap, drill and tap that one as well, but I need to, uh, at some point I can do all the rest. It's, uh, after all, it's eight of them, uh, so uh, this will be somewhat tedious. So, uh, well, let's start marking.
so now it's the time for the first haul. <laughs> uh, well, uh, 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 I have this paper towel here to prevent uh, any debris uh, from uh, going into there. Well, I have a center punch like this. This is, uh, uh, well, uh, quite old thing. This is a uh, finish uh, made by Viala. Uh, I don't know where it did, did I get this, but this is like a reliable thing, I would say. So here, the small dot is our place. And now I want to know where is this punch uh, making its uh, dent. So I draw a little bit here, like this. So now I know it's there. Okay. Let's try. Uh, I have a very small hammer here, and I very gently tap. Okay. Seems like it did it. A little less gentle tap, and then even more or less, and now I will change to a heavier builder's hammer, which will now make, finalize that one. Well, there it is. Uh, <coughs> next step, drill a 5mm hole. Uh, yeah. Okay, now I have here this is a 5 mm drill, and uh, there is that place, and I have, let's see, that I really have. No, actually it's not in place. Okay, there you are. So, that's uh, our place, and now I will also see that we have... This is maybe too little. That might be enough. That's okay, I think. And now, and I just touch it uh, first to see that uh, we really. <laughs> there you are. Okay, now I will uh, drill it through. And this is 5 mm hole. I think we are very near of getting through. There you are. It's true. Okay, that was a step number one. Next, uh, tap it M6. <laughs> yep. So, <laughs> that's the hole. That's here. That here. Uh, 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 that one. That's the tap follower. Uh, that's the tap. Uh, well, this is a gun tap. It means that it pushes the chips uh, down the hole. It, uh, well, uh, you don't need to clear your chips when uh, tapping with this one. So, <laughs> that's a nice thing. So, I just engage my out... Well, this... Uh, pencil, this... <laughs> yeah. Ah... Push drill. Uh, drill press has uh, 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 automatic feed. Power... <laughs> Oh, my nose is uh, really bad. So, uh, it has a power feed, so... <laughs> no. It has a power feed, so I can engage it, so it keeps it uh, pressed, and I can actually adjust it uh, up here in a handle. So now what I do, I just uh, uh, have some oil on, on that. Uh, then we go. Uh, M6 straight into there. Well, I could do this uh, using, uh, uh, well, power tapping, uh, but uh, actually, uh, I want to feel when it breaks down in the hole. <coughs> yeah, okay. 
So, there you go. It goes really easily. And I think, uh, wow. I think there you are, M6 Tread. <laughs> Whoop. Well, that's uh, one of the many. <laughs> well, seven more to go. Yeah, really. <laughs> ah. There you almost are. There you are. Uh, as you can see, no chips. Well, where are the chips? They are down there. Uh, if I take this away, you we might see them. No, we cannot see them. They are down, down, down there. And yeah. So now I just nibur this and that. And then we, uh, we, I, uh, will actually. Uh, uh, well, bolt it in place uh, in order to mark the rest of the holes. <laughs> so now I add uh, this uh, uh, well workpiece here, and uh, there is the newly created uh, M6 uh, thread. And uh, well, I deburred it and uh, cleaned up everything quite well. Uh, so now, uh, well, the first step is to have some uh, well. Machinist blue, <laughs> machinist black, here on the places where I want uh, these holes to be. Uh, it will be seven of these. Ah. that. And now I can put this one. And, uh, well, let's see. Okay. Well, here it is. Quite exact. Then just a washer and bolt. Should go in very, very easily. And it does. Yeah. Okay. 10 millimeter wrench. There you are. This rotates still, yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when you have eight of those there holding it, uh, it won't go anywhere. So now I need this, uh, this 6.5 millimeter drill to mark the holes. Oh yeah, oh, and my nail nose. Uh, this drill has a split point, and therefore it creates a, a point <laughs> uh, in, uh, in there. So, sorry about my hand, okay. That's one. Yeah, okay. Two. Three. Let's see. Oh yeah, we have a point in there. There you are. Okay, so now uh, I'll just remove this and then uh, we can uh, hammer in the places for for those uh, holes. It's uh, just rinse and repeat for this, this one, but now it's seven. So I will make it so that I first uh, drill the holes and then I tap them after that, uh, as easy as that. Okay.
now, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I have now decreased all these surfaces, also this one, and uh, deburred it, of course, and uh, now uh, the next step is to have it uh, uh, permanently here. Well, and I'm going to use uh, this uh, glue for that. Well, it's not only glue, it's all also like, uh, well, it uh, creates a sealant, sealant surface, so, uh, oh, you need to pull the, okay, there you go, it has a nice color, <laughs> not green, it's uh, like bright, uh, well, pink. Oh, that one I don't want to have. Okay, let's see now. I think we have it now there, all over where it needs to be. Well. This now, I might also, well, it's not a very good idea to have excess amount on this one, but uh, I would like to have, there is a point where I really would like to have it, like there. Okay, so, yeah, so it goes actually this way in the up oh, oh no should be like that let's see now where is the place we need to have eight of these oh. And uh, by the way, uh, under this uh, workpiece there is uh, not much pressure. Uh, the purpose of this thing is uh, to uh, rot the leaked oil back to the intake. So that's the only only purpose for this. Yes, I don't uh, tighten the, this yet. I just have them uh, on the edge of being tightened, so to say. So, since there is not much uh, pressure, uh, this kind of uh, seal will do in this case. Yeah. So, this shouldn't uh, leak oil out from it. There will be a lot of oil circulating there. That's uh, actually how this uh, compressor works. The oil is used to seal uh, the veins and also to lubricate the whole system. Oh, that went too tight. And you probably have noticed that this shaft is all too long. <laughs> well, it will become shorter. So now I tighten this. This one and then the opposite one. And then I go to that one. And the opposite one for that. And then that one. And the opposite. This and the opposite. <laughs> and now they should be all. Now I just check that uh, they are all tight. These don't need to be super tight one more time. Uh, these are <laughs> actually they are M4, so uh, yeah. And now I'm getting 
the uh, sealant all over my fingers. Okay, let's uh, wipe the excess off. Not a lot of excess, but uh, yes, we have some. Okay, and it's still turning. Mm, nice. And then we have this. There it should be. Hmm. Well, um, uh, yeah, I, I can put it there, I think. Can I? Yeah. We need to shorten this, actually. So, well, it's uh, way too long. Uh, I'm just thinking uh, about how, when to do this and how to do it. And yes, this uh, also the hole needs to be a little bit larger, maybe, because it shouldn't be rubbing. <laughs> Okay, so we don't attach this, not just yet. I will actually put this now, I think, uh, mm, we shall measure uh, how long uh, this needs to be. That's the next step. <coughs> so, uh, well, uh, uh, the compressor will be sitting here and uh, the shaft uh, uh, is at the moment a little bit too long. So uh, I will measure it from here like this and see how much we need there. And this is uh, 73 millimeters, but uh, I don't want to put it so tight. So, 70 millimeters uh, will be adequate. That's uh, okay. And uh, now I will cut the <laughs> shaft to 70 millimeters. And this is not exact science, actually. It's uh, not, not to be... There you are. That's our place. And then I just cut it. With a hacksaw, of course, <laughs> uh, like that. Oh. file the end of the shaft it's very it's imperative to have it deburred does it still turn yes <laughs> It's a little bit stiff now, of course it is. <laughs> I don't know whether, uh, no, yeah, this is actually in frame. Huh. Yeah, there is some oil inside there. It will actually, that's the reason why it's so stiff because it uh, wants to poop the oil. I think that's it. Okay, we are ready with this one. So, let's put this together. <laughs> uh, this is uh, the, the well, plate. And I noticed that uh, there are actually it's sided. The other side goes well, and the other one uh, goes also, but not that well. So, uh, well. You cannot uh, get everything. <laughs> uh, actually, it shouldn't be like sided. It should be symmetric. But it's not. Well. 
And I also drilled uh, this uh, hole in the center to 15 millimeters. Uh, well, uh, so that it doesn't rub the shaft. It was so exactly 14 millimeters that uh, it, uh, it might give uh, trouble. So yeah. This is how it works when uh, the bolts uh, and the holes are in uh, correct places. <laughs> you don't need to worry about uh, filing, for example, those uh, 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 holes bigger or anything. So now let's uh, And I think uh, these don't need to be tightened in any particular order. They just uh, need to be there. Yeah. Let's tighten them uh, like this. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see. And again, uh, since these bolts are that many, you don't need to tighten them uh, like super hard. Uh, well, it's uh, actually uh, just uh, enough so that uh, they don't uh, fall off by themselves. <laughs> uh, 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 this should all no, it's not yet. <laughs> It's a slippery there because there is some oil. Uh, uh, tight, tight. Uh -huh. Not tight. It earns uh, to check them. Uh. Now, I'm sure it won't fall off by itself. I'm very sure of that. Oh, we have uh, one more thing there. And yeah, I measured uh, and it's exactly like uh, seven uh, centimeters, uh, 70 millimeters. And now we need uh, one thing here. Uh, we need this. This is the that one. <laughs> uh, then we need the motor. Uh, Let's see if uh, you are still on frame. Yes, you are. And then we need uh, something here, like that. Uh -huh. Okay, there you are. Like that. And now I will tighten this one first. Uh -huh. It will be, I'm just checking that the shaft here is, uh, oh wow, it's a little bit, I want it to be a little bit uh, inside there, not a lot, just a little bit. Uh -huh. It's too much. <laughs> Okay, there you are, but now I just tighten it and uh, this will tighten it in, a, it in a way that it won't come off. <laughs> uh, not easy at least. Uh, that's one, and the other one. 
Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now it's easier for me uh, to have this uh, thing. Okay. So now this uh, thing here. That was too tight. Now it's very good because now it's floating here. Good. So I need to get this down here. Whew. Wow, how 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 should I do that? <laughs> uh, like this. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Okay, that helps the first centimeters. Okay. Okay, now I have some leverage here. Yeah. There you are. And yeah, this must be done correctly. Uh, this will actually ruin the bearings in no time, if not done properly. Okay, tighten that. Haha, <laughs> it found right away. Yes, uh, I think I need to, yeah, now I know. We need to make, uh, because this uh, coupling is a little bit tight at the moment. Uh, I mean, the flexible part is really tight. So uh, I can make it looser. Uh, <coughs> looser, yeah. So it becomes a loser. <laughs> uh, that's one. Uh, that's the other. Like that. Let's see now. Let's like that. Comes very nicely off. Which is good. So I mean, these things are really tight, and I I, I can make them a loser, a little bit uh, not a little bit not so tight. <laughs> so they are now maybe a little bit too precise fit into the so. Now loosen it. That one too. Yeah, and then pop it out from there, like that. And now I go to my drill press and uh, make them. They are now uh, six point five. I make them seven millimeters. Uh, see you after that. Okay, so. Now the orange uh, holes are a little bit looser, so I can actually push this uh, down with uh, my bare fingers. I don't need to use any hard tools for that. And now, since it's loose from the uh, shaft, uh, from the pump, it uh, goes like this. But, uh, well, actually, uh, that um, coupling, the motor side is... Uh, uh, fully tightened at the moment. So I can uh, tighten these and it starts to rotate the pump. And uh, it's still quite easy to turn, so it doesn't bind. That's... Uh, uh, let's tighten these. Yeah, it doesn't start to bind. Very good. Uh, there you are. Yeah. So, there it is. All it needed is uh, half a millimeter from the diameter, and uh, so that it's uh, so that there is some very negligible wiggle room, and then after this it freed up this. So, well, yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, now that thing is now uh, connected uh, to the motor. And uh, well, it's a 
Well, I think it looks good. And, uh, well, only time will tell uh, whether this uh, really works or uh, is just a nice uh, display piece. <laughs> well, uh, in the next episode we will add that VFD to that one and uh, then we will uh, uh, like uh, break it in, uh, run it uh, continuously. Uh, well, I don't know how long, but uh, uh, we need to circulate oil through, through it. And uh, then we will also see how it uh, uh, contamin contaminates uh, this oil, uh, whether it becomes uh, really bad or whatever. Uh, but, uh, well, that will be the next episode of Finnogrip Marsini. Till then. Bye! Oh, ah, thanks for all uh, my subscribers and all those who uh, want to return to this channel, even uh, if I have uh, uh, those uh, animations around. Well, it's just that I like to make animations. <laughs> so, uh, till next time, bye!